Waliwe ya zo kunda wa kumulimu. Ani? His name is Anthony Mbabasi. Anthony? The guy oh, behind the headlines? I don't know, but I've seen him on TV. He said he was a journalist. Mm, channel 43 is the one. What did he say? He said he wants to talk to me about what happened to us. He said he can help bring the people who stole our baby to justice. Uh -huh. I'm so so called what justice. Look, I see all all we did was give them another story for their programs. Tell them we're not interested. But what if he wants to help? Macho, what uh, Nikesa, is... Nikesa, just do what you want. Don't involve me. Tell me everything. He's the guy from the new stories. What new stories? You remember that teenage girl on the news? A call something? Yeah, I think Dorothy told me about her. She the one that died in Mulago Hospital. Uh -huh. What has she got to do with this? What Dorothy didn't tell you was that this pig is the one that sent her to the hospital. She came in with a botched abortion, of which, as you can imagine, had Dorothy and all the other nurses concerned. Dorothy then took on her case and really tried to save her life. But it was a little too late. At first, the girl didn't want to say anything. But right before she died, she got scared and told Dorothy what happened. He got her pregnant, tried performing an abortion on her. And I'm guessing it's because he didn't want her to go to the hospital. Because going to the hospital would mean people finding out that he was sleeping with a fucking 12-year-old girl. Do you know what he told her? He told her that he was a fucking part-time doctor. Yeah, he told me that she too. I did not believe her what he said. That he went to med school and everything. A fucking part-time doctor, my ass. So I should just abandon her like every other ordinary invalid? Oh, come on. No! That is what you are saying. You are saying that I should dump her in some rotten government-run institution with kids drooling saliva. No! Where they don't have enough medication or manpower to give my daughter the attention that she needs. That she thrives on. You come here to tell me to go to the UK and attend the wedding of my nephew. Who cares nothing about his cousin? He won't even speak to her for more than 30 seconds on phone because he has no patience. Jessica. You are just as strategic as my good-for-nothing husband. Me. Who just saw marriage as this one big business deal. But on the inside, you're negligent. Money-seeking, social climbing, and none of you cares about the relationship. That's not true. Gemma is my daughter, Jessica. My blood. Abled or differently abled. And I intend on giving her the best, regardless of if my family is there or not. Wait, at the expense of your life. This is my life, Jessica!